Hello, this is Linus Torvalds and I pronounce Linux as Linux. The History of Linux September 1983 Richard M. Stallman announces the GNU project, an attempt at creating a completely free operating system. October 1985 Free Software Foundation was established as a non-profit organization to promote the development of free software. It sponsored the GNU project. January 1987, computer science professor Andrew Tannenbaum published the textbook, Operating Systems, Design and Implementation, which includes a copy of a teaching version of Unix called Minix. February 1989, Version 1 of the GNU General Public License, GPL, was released. August 1991, Linus Torvalds announced that he's working on an operating system similar to Linux. September 1991, Version 0.01 of Torvalds' project is made available via ftp.funet.fr. October 1991, Richard Stallman expressed interest in having the Free Software Foundation distribute a GNU system with the Linux kernel. January 1992. Alt.OS. Linux News Group was created. Linux creator Andrew Tannenbaum claims Linux is obsolete in a posting to comp.os. Linux and starts a public discussion on the merits of Linux in which Linux Torvalds participated. February 1992. What could be described as the first Linux distribution, called MCC Interim Linux, is released by the University of Manchester, England. March 1992. Version 0.95 of the Linux kernel was released. First version to be able to support X Window. X Window is vital for Linux's graphical user interface.
October 2000, IBM CEO Louis Kirstner announces that the company will invest $1 billion in Linux development. January 2001, Linux kernel version 2.4 was released. May 2001, Linux Torvalds published his autobiography entitled Just For Fun, with the help of journalist David Diamond. August 2001, MP3.com founder Michael Robertson started developing Windows, a Debian-based distribution, which promises to be a Linux distribution that can be used by anybody. November 2001, Microsoft filed a trademark infringement suit against Windows, claiming the similarity to the name Windows confuses the public. August 2002 Free Office Suite OpenOffice.org 1.0 was released. November 2002. Former UP President Nemanzun released a letter encouraging the UP community to shift from Windows to Linux. June 2003. Linux Torvalds announces that he's leaving Transmed to work full-time on the kernel for the open source development labs. The Torvalds family moves to Oregon. July 2003. Red Hat announces that they will no longer sell boxed sets of their Linux distribution for retail customers. Instead, they will distribute Linux to end users via a development distribution called Fedora Core. December 2003. Linux kernel version 2.6 was released. July 2004. Microsoft settles its trademark dispute with Windows. Windows changes its name to Linspire and assigns Microsoft the rights to the Windows name. Microsoft pays $20 million and grants Linspire licenses to use certain Windows media libraries. October 2004. First version of Ubuntu Linux released. December 2005. In strongly worded emails to the no mailing list, Linux Torvalds reveals that he prefers KDE to GNOME, starting a small controversy. GNOME seems to be developed by interface Nazis, claims Torvalds. May 2006. Nicholas Negroponte displays the first working prototype of a $100 laptop computer running Linux and designed for children in the third world. Bill Gates ridicules the project. November 2006. Novell and Microsoft sign a controversial agreement in which Novell agrees to work on SUS Linux Windows interoperability while Microsoft pledges not to sue Novell's customers for possible patent infringement. The agreement is poorly received by the Linux user community. It also prompts a rewrite of the upcoming version 3 of the GNU General Public License in order to insert clauses to prohibit distribution of GPL software under such patent agreements. May 2007. Microsoft General Counsel Brad Smith states in a Fortune magazine interview that his company believes that Linux and related projects infringe on over 230 Microsoft patents. There are fears that a patent war between Microsoft and the free software open source developers might break out. June 2007. Linux distributors Zendros and Linspire sign patent agreements with Microsoft similar to the pact previously signed between Novell and Microsoft. Ubuntu Linux maintainer Mark Shuttleworth and Mandriva CEO Ben Silhan publicly rule out making such agreements. It is also revealed that Red Hat had been negotiating a pact with Microsoft though finally no agreement was reached. 